Welcome back everyone. The language we speak and write consists of words. In the last video, we classified these words into eight types. Nouns, verbs, adjectives, and so on. Today, we'll talk about nouns. Nouns can be divided into different types as well. We have common nouns and proper nouns. Abstract, concrete, countable, uncountable, singular, plural, masculine, feminine. The question is, do we have the same categories in different languages? Do nouns give the same meanings across languages? First, let's have a look at nouns in terms of abstraction and concreteness. We may talk about ideas or things. Concrete nouns are things that exist in the real world. Things you can see, you can hear, smell, taste, or touch. Words like boy, girl, cat, dog, chair. Abstract nouns refer to ideas or concepts. They have no physical reference. The meanings of abstract nouns may differ across time, place, and person. Words like love, success, freedom, good and bad. Later we can talk about how abstract meanings can change from one generation to another. Now let's talk about how they differ from one situation to another. Take freedom as an example. The word could be familiar to everyone, but when someone says I want freedom, this could refer to self-employment if he's annoyed at work. Vacation when he gets exhausted in his workplace. Divorce for unhappy marriages. Clearance of debts for anyone overwhelmed by debts. And actually one can think of many more meanings in different situations. Both types draw the overall picture of the entire life. But we have to pay attention in translation to how imprecise their meanings are how easily they can be understood in different ways. Approaching the text this way may let us know from the very beginning how difficult or easy the text is. The text that contains more abstract words could be more difficult in translation. The more abstract the text is, the more unclear. The more concrete the text, the more clear and vivid. Even the ways we look at concrete nouns differ from one language to another based on one's perception and cultural differences. For example, my cup of tea is black without sugar. Yours could be with milk and sugar. Next time, we'll explain how to translate the different types of nouns. Thank you for watching and see you later.